Okay, I'm just back to share a couple things that I've done um, to all my stuff. Um, so first, the shoe box. This is how um, it looks right now. And you can um, put something in here. So that's how it looks. So I've popped it all on pop dots. And that's what I've got for the shoe box so far. So um, that's how it's coming along. Just some updates for you ladies. Um, there's that. Um, and then I have this layout I did for um, Jen at LiveTeachCreate.com. She's doing a back to school um, theme. Um, it can be anything as long as you use alphabet stickers, chipboard, and buttons, brads, and bling. Um, and if you go over to liveteachcreate.com or dot blogspot.com, it's over there. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box. Um, this is a layout of my son in kindergarten. And this um, the stickers on here are from Carla's K A R L A S uh, 001. Thank you, Carla. I appreciate it and I love it. So does my kids. Um, so I went and did this after I did the book because I was going to use the book as the project but I ended up using this so I used everything. I used the letters, I used the bling which is in here and then the brads and the stars are brads too. Um, the chipboard I used were buttons um, chipboard buttons, so that kind of, you know, doubled the chipboard and the button theme. Um, sorry about that. And then here's another one, and it's got jute rope. But then I also added these cute little buttons to the crayons, and I added bling to this one and this one, and then jute rope for the other ones. Then I wrote a little note there, and that's his kindergarten picture. He's so cute. And then for the, um album that I'm still working on I gotta print up the other pictures um, that's why I put like a two and a half three inch binder ring so I can add more but this is the paper from Carla's 001 um, and the stickers it's all dimensional he rode the school bus last year here's a button um, that I chipped the back off and put it on there and then some bling and then a pencil that he used from school. And this is the um, apple chipboard from Michael's. And then here's his first day. It's when we're at home getting ready to go. Him again. Trying to get some good shots of him, but he kept making faces and weird stuff. Um, and then these are the little apples in the schoolhouses are from um, the dollar store. Here's him in his backpack. Got bling and buttons and brads. On this side, it's him in his lunchbox. His Star Wars. Gotta have Star Wars, right? Um, here's the schoolhouse. Um, we're still at home, ready to about to leave. This is when we arrived at the school and started walking to the area where we meet the teachers. He's sitting down waiting still waiting for the teacher. This apple was um, a thin apple piece from the dollar store and I just backed it um, with some chipboard to make it sturdier. Either chipboard I put double pieced it but I think it's chipboard. And then here's him again waiting. He raised his hand because he wanted to ask a question. And then this is him crying. He started to cry because we started to walk away and he started crying and here's him wiping his tears away and then later on this is on Halloween they had a Halloween parade showing their outfits he was Anakin Skywalker and then his school picture so that one this one's almost done I just gotta print up his um, his kindergarten ceremony picture um, pictures to put in there 
And then you're probably wondering what these are. So last night, we're watching Warehouse 13, because we were recording it. And, um, of course, me, I had stuff on my mind, so I started, you know, drawing and, and um, cutting out, you know, shapes for my mini album ideas. Um, so I did, you know, because I'm working... I have so many projects I'm trying to do and complete and, and whatnot, but I cut out a Sweet Paris template. And on here it has, you know, the hole up here. It's just an idea if I want to put the, you know, the hole up there to punch, you know, for the book. But I made a Paris template, and it measures at 7 down the middle to here by 4 and a half. But if you go from the tip to here, it's about 7 and 3 quarters. And then I did a bat template, a cute bat template. And this one measures um, 3 and a half by 8 right here. And then I did a witch's hat. And it measures at 6 by 5 right there. Um, and then my pumpkin. It's so cute. And this one measures at five and a half by six. So just some ideas that I had um, to make an album. I was gonna, you know, put it all together like this, um, or however way I was thinking about doing it. Um, I was gonna do that, but that's all I have for now, ladies. Um, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.